Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to do some things with this device, A-L-E-X-A. -E you probably know what that spells, but I can't say it because it'll activate her. So, I'm going to be showing you some things that you can do with this. So, the first thing is... You can make her, you can make her, um, make Pikachu talk with it. So, how you make Pikachu talk is you go on the Alex, you go on the, you go on the Amazon A-L-E-X-A app, where, and you go to skills and games. Then you go on the search bar, then you search up um Pikachu and there will be a Pikachu voice in the search in the search um answers or something like that and Pikachu voice you will um enable it and then you say this to her Hey Alexa make Pikachu talk Okay Here's Pikachu talk. See? Pikachu, sing happy birthday. Sing happy birthday. Okay. This is kind of hard to... Sing happy birthday. Sing happy birthday. Pikachu. No. Pikachu, sing happy birthday to you. Stop. It has been stopped. So the next thing is a game called 20 Questions. And it's basically a game where you think of an animal and she ask you, asks you questions to try to guess your animal. So let's play it. Alexa, play 20 questions. Let's play 20 questions. Is it music related, an animal, a vegetable, or something else? A vegetable. Is it usually green? Yes. Would you eat it? Yes. It's a cucumber. Is it round? No. Do you hold it when you use it? I guess. Does it bring joy to people? Sometimes. Is it alive? No. Can it fit in an envelope? No. Is it made in many different styles? I guess. Can it float? No. Is it man-made? Mm, kind of. I've got a good question. Is it living? No. I guess that it is guacamole? No. Do you make something with it? No. Is it usually colorful? No. Does it come from a plant? I guess. Is it brown? No. Can you lift it? Yeah. 
Does it usually have four corners? No. I think I'm getting close. Is it usually warm? No. Would you use it daily? No. Nah. Does it come from trees? No. Is it larger than a pound of butter? I don't know. Is it hard? What? Sorry, I couldn't understand that. Try saying usually. Usually. I guess that it is a wheelchair. No. Does it have a handle? No. Does it come in different colors? No. Is it a metal? No. I guess that it is broccoli? No. I guess that it is windshield wipers? No. You won. Would you like to play a new game? No. Please rate the skill five stars if you had fun. Thanks for playing. Goodbye. 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 So that was 20 questions. My guess, my vegetable was a cucumber. And some of those might have been wrong, but I don't really know. And the next question is, would you rather? And like it is, like, it's like the game, would you rather? So let's play it. Alexa, play would you rather? Welcome back to Would You Rather. I missed you, so here I am. Ready to play? Yes. Would you like to play Standard Edition or Disney Edition? Or say more to explore Premium Editions? Standard Edition. Howdy. Would you rather be bored or start having fun? How many people are playing? One. One it is. I will ask you ten questions. Let's see how your views on different situations compare to the rest of the world. Here is your first question. Would you rather be stuck on a train or a bus? Train. Oh my. 48% of people agree with you. Next question. Would you rather be able to run incredibly fast? Or jump incredibly high? Jump incredibly high. I like your individuality. 31% of people agree with you. Next question. Would you rather have bad grades or no friends? Bad grades. All right. 42% of people agree with you. Next question. Would you rather spend a year as a police officer? Or a teacher in an inner city neighborhood? Teacher. Okie dokie. 48% of people agree with you. Here is your fifth friends. question. Would you rather be gossiped about or never talked about at all? Never talked about at all. Sorry, I missed that. Would you rather be gossiped about? Or never talked about at all? Never talked about at all. Okay, next question. Would you rather wear a diaper under your clothes or a clown wig everywhere? Diaper under your clothes. Nice going. People have the same view. Finally. I haven't got the same answer forever. 71% of people agree with you. Next question. Would you rather have to wear a sweater in the summer or a swimsuit all summer long? Sweater in the summer. Okie dokie. 48% of people agree with you. Next question. Would you rather when you fart purple dust comes out or after you poop your skin turns purple? Fart dust. Fantastic. Others are on the same page. 
Okay, good. I've got the wrong one all this time. 72% of people agree with you. Next question. Would you rather control space or time? Time. Sorry, I missed that. Would you rather control space or time? Time. Okie dokie. 47% of people agree with you. Here is your last question. Would you rather drool when you talk or snort when you breathe? Snort when you breathe. <laughs> All righty. 45% of people agree with you. This round comes stuff. to an end. Say let's start over to play a new round or stop to quit. Stop. Okay, thanks for playing Would You Rather. Questions are continually being added, so come back soon for more fun. Thank you. You bet. Okay, so that was kind of weird because he wanted to change my answer after I already said it. But the next thing is, um, so I'm really excited for this one. I mean, I play it every night because, I mean, I love Harry Potter. If you guys don't know, I'm even wearing a Hogwarts sweater right now. But I love Harry Potter. And there is a thing, and I think it's from maybe Pottermore, but it asks you questions, three questions every single day if you play every single day. So you're identified by either, like, you're identified by something. And I'm in Ravenclaw, so I picked Ravenclaw as my house. And my every single night, I'm second place. <laughs> and... Um, I'm, and so, um, I ask you three questions about Harry Potter, and it's called Harry Potter Quiz, so you can enable it on the Amazon AliExA app, and so, yeah, so let's get on with it. Alexa, play Harry Potter Quiz. <laughs> Welcome to the Harry Potter Quiz from Pottermore Publishing and Audible. Is this your first time playing? No. How wonderful to see you again. So that I know who's playing, what's your magical object? A quill. Ah, yes, I remember. You were playing for Ravenclaw on OWL level. Would you like to change your settings? No. Okay, here are your three questions for today. If you need more time, just say repeat. Question one. Which spell is this? I am about to attempt to break into your mind, said Snape softly. We are going to see how well you resist. Yeah, I have been told that you have already shown aptitude at I resisting the imperious curse. You will find that similar powers are needed for this. Brace this yourself now. Which spell was that? Was it Legilimens, Obliviate, Silencio, Incendio? Incendio? Incendio. Legilimens. Snape had struck before Harry was ready, before Harry had even begun to summon any force of resistance. The office swam in front of his eyes and vanished. Image after image was racing I through his mind like a wrong. flickering film, so vivid it blinded him to his surroundings. That's incorrect. I read that one. Hmm, so that was a I tricky one. It. Question two. Which of the seven Harry Potter audiobooks does this passage come from? Harry witnessed Professor McGonagall walking right past Peeves, who was determinedly loosening a crystal chandelier, and could have sworn he heard her tell the poltergeist out of the corner of her mouth. It unscrews the other way. Which audiobook do you think that was? Was it The Deathly Hallows, The Half-Blood Prince, The Order of the Phoenix, 
The Goblet of Fire. Goblet of Fire. It's book five. The Order of the Phoenix. That's incorrect. Even Ludo Bagman wouldn't have bet on you getting that right. Question three. Which character best fits this description? A mass of filthy matted hair hung to his elbows. If eyes hadn't been shining out of the deep, dark sockets, he might have been a corpse. The waxy skin was stretched so tightly over the bones of his face, it looked like a skull. His yellow teeth were bared in a grin. Who was just described? Was it Sirius Black, Fenrir Greyback, Rodolphus Lestrange, Antonin Dolohov? Fenrir Greyback. It was Sirius Black. Oh. Expelliarmus. Oh yeah, that's from the third one. Pointing Ron's wand at them. Harry and Hermione's wands shot out of their hands, high in the air, and Black caught them. That's incorrect. Hmm, that was a tricky one. Quill's down. You didn't score any points for Ravenclaw today. Oh well, there's no point crying over spilt potion. You can always try again tomorrow. Yeah. Looking at today's house standings, Ravenclaw is preparing to take the lead, currently Season sitting in place. second place. I never get first. To view the leaderboard, check your Alexa app. To get your house on top, come back again tomorrow for three new questions and the chance of more bonus points. Just say, play Harry Potter quiz. Oh, okay, so, and maybe if you guys don't know, I'm going to show you the controls of them. So, you can see that this button with the circle and then the slash, you can say, you know, Amazon Alexa. Yeah, so it wakes up. Yeah, so if you don't want the happening, you click this button. Then you can say, Alexa. Alexa. You know Amazon Alexa? So if you're talking and you want to say that, but you can't because it'll like wake her up like I showed you. So you can just click that and it won't work. So you can say whatever you want. You know Amazon Alexa? She's really cool. And I said it and she didn't turn on. So that's what that's for. And then you can do this. This is the volume buttons. Here's the um my the minus and then here's the plus. So this one. Then this is the plus. And it goes all the way around the circle. Yeah, so she gets pretty loud. So, Alexa. 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 See, that's really loud. That's good. There you go. Okay. So, and then this button with the circle, it activate it acts it activates. I can't talk today. It activates and wakes her up without you having to say Alexa. See? Yeah. So, yeah, so that was all for um, 
hack uh, little like games and little things and trick tips and tricks for the Amazon Alexa Echo Dot third generation. No, 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 no. Actually, there's one more thing, and I um so you can drop into other devices of this or like a phone or something. So you can like like you can say Alexa call excuse me call um upstairs echo dot and it would drop into the upstairs Echo Dot, and you could call the person that's upstairs. So yeah, that was all the tips and tricks for the Amazon Alexa third generation. So bye, got oh shout outs. I almost forgot. So the shout out or shout outs go to. I think it's shout out. The shout out goes to Haley May, and she's my friend. So, well, there's a lot of Haley Mays, like a lot. If you go and search, there's like so many Haley Mays. But, like, just she has blonde hair and then blue eyes. So, that was the shout out today. So, one last outro so that was the tips and tricks of the amazon a l e x a echo dot third generation bye guys